Hi all, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I, I've got a few things from Sephora that I want to play with and when I say a few things I mean really a few things. It's not like going to be a haul or anything. Um, but I want to do a foundation wear test. Um, yeah, I want to do a foundation wear test today. Um, and it's going to be a powder foundation, so that's a little different. Um, first of all, I got my Disneyland cup here. I was at Disneyland. Uh, let's see, so today's Saturday, so I was at Disneyland on Wednesday and Thursday. Look at that. And then the other side says, happiest place on earth. These are the Starbucks cups. Mm-hmm. At Disneyland, there's a different one for California Adventure. The next time I go, I got to get the one from California Adventure. And then my shirt. I don't know if you can see my shirt. It says, oh, hey, hey. And it's got hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know if you can see hey. Uh, let's see if I can come back a little bit so you can see him a little bit. There you go. It says, oh, hey, hey. Isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to brag that I was at Disneyland. And I just wanted to show you my cup and my shirt. Okay, so before I went to Disneyland though, I ordered a couple of things from Sephora. Um, so I ordered a foundation and a cream. I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've heard amazing things about this. And I wanted to put this on before I started my makeup because, like I said, I am going to use a powder foundation today. And I... I have dry skin, so I'm like, Ugh. but the Tayla, who, okay, I have normal to dry skin, and the Tayla seems to have pretty similar skin type to me. She loves this foundation, so I'm like, okay, you know what, we'll give it a try. So this is the fancy Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know why I think that I'm a Charlotte Tilbury girl now, like, it's expensive stuff. This jar is 0.5. 5-2 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters and it's $29. I don't imagine you need a lot, but we'll see. Um, so this is the magic cream. It's supposed to be, well, magic. Oh, it smells, smells kind of like sunscreen. I don't know that there's sunscreen in it. I don't think there is. Let's see. Mm, doesn't say anything about sunscreen, so I don't know why it smells like that. So we're going to go ahead and, ooh, it's nice and thick. So apparently she used to use this concoction, or she still does, I don't know, on her um, clients, on her celebrity clients. And then she decided to market it. And apparently it's supposed to make your, ooh, it feels super moisturizing and soft. It's supposed to make your skin feel supple and plump and youthful looking. Oh, that feels nice. It feels like a really thick moisturizer. That's what it feels like. Yeah, it smells like sunscreen. That's really the only scent that I get from it, but I don't see that it has sunscreen in it, so I'm somewhat confused. Okay. Mm, that feels amazing. Could be that I already put on sunscreen too, so. <laughs> that, that that could probably be it, but I don't know. Even the, even in the bottle, it smells like sunscreen, so I'm not sure. Um, okay. So we're going to let that... Oh, that does feel amazing. Oh, okay. We're going to let that sink in. I'm going to do a really, really quick eye look before I get into the actual foundation part. Oh, so I love coffee. Coffee's my favorite. Um, I'm going to take the It's My Pleasure palette. I feel like, by ColourPop, I feel like I didn't give this enough a shot. Everybody loves this, and I feel like I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like it was as purple. I felt like it was more like pink on me, but we're going to give it a shot again. Um, I'm not going to do this as a tutorial because, again, we're not focusing this really on the eyes. We're doing this on focus on the face today, so... As always, I'm going to prime with my Milani. I was priming with my uh, Anastasia eye primer, which I really seem to like, until twice I used it, and my eyeshadows creased and were coming off by the end of the day, so i got to 
I'm going to play with that a little bit more and see if that was the eyeshadows or if that was the eye primer. I've heard good things about it other than the packaging, which I also agree that the packaging sucks. But um, this is my tried and true, so I'm like, okay, we'll just do this today. Okay. Okay, to set that down, I'm just going to go into the Cali Contour and just use a big fluffy brush. This is my MAC 224. And just uh, use the highlight or the setting powder or whatever this this is considered and I think it's considered a highlighter powder but it's completely matte again just this isn't really focused on the eyes today I have a I have a review and um, a look using this I'll link it in the eye and down below for you um, okay so it has a nice mirror so we'll use the mirror right, So the first thing I'm going to take is I'm going to take the color Kittenfish, this color here, and we're going to use that as our transition. So now I'm going to take the color Fan Fiction, and I'm going to direct that more, more into the crease. You see, I don't know, maybe, it, it's like a, it's definitely purple, but it's like a pinky purple, I don't know. Not as purple as I want it to be. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like it leans very pink on me. It's still definitely purple, but it leans kind of pink. And then right at that outer V, we're going to take Sleeper. Now I'm going to take the color Do or Doe, which is this color right here in the middle, and I'm going to put that on the eyelid. Okay, I'm eating my words here. It's that and that's a purple look. Okay, all right, that's a not that's a nice purple look. <laughs> okay, I'm eating, like I said, I'm eating my words here. Okay, all right. Um, so the Charlotte Tilbury is very very heavy. Um, thick, I guess is the word. It's very thick. It, you can, I can feel it on my skin. Um, it still smells like sunscreen. I looked it up and there's nothing that says sunscreen in it. So there's no sunscreen. Um, by the way, this is for normal dry and combination skin, which I have normal dry skin. So combination of normal and dry. Um, yeah, okay. All right, so... I just feel like my face looks a little more plump, so a little more plump, a little less ragged. I don't know. I don't know if that's a word. So that's the word we're looking for. Um, okay, so the foundation we're going to use is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is what the packaging looks like. Like I said, I got this off the recommendation of that of uh, the Tayla, which is Taylor here on YouTube, and she has. She has pretty similar skin type to me. Um, she used to have oily skin, and then she went on Acu Accutane, and now she has skin type that's pretty pretty close to my skin type. So we're gonna. She said that it's not too drying, so I'm gonna go with her recommendation. That's any other reason why I put on that magic cream, other than one I wanted to try it, and two, it's like okay, got a nice moisturizing base. Okay. So this is what the inside looks like. So that's the color. This is the color Y225 because I am a little more tan. In, this, in the winter, I will have to go down quite a bit. And then there's like a little applicator right here, which everybody that I've sh uh, seen use this, they recommend using the applicator. And I don't have like a, I don't have a buffing brush for powders. So today I am going to use this. Now there's something about the white, the black and the white side. Let's let's read, shall we? Um, for optimal coverage, apply the foundation using the black side of the sponge. Use the white side for a lighter makeup look. Okay. So let's try. Let's try the white side on this side and the blacks. Actually, you know what? 
I have some hyperpigmentation here. So let's try the the black side or the white side on this side and the black side on this side and see what we can cover. Shall we? So the white side, this side. Alright, so I'm getting some powder on here. Ooh, it looks a little bit dark, but I did test it so it should be okay. And I'm just gonna press it in. Get it around. Oh! Oh crap. I gotta be careful around my eyes because I haven't put on my concealer yet. Mm, what I was thinking. When you do powder foundation, do your creams first. Oh, what's wrong with me? Do as I say, not as I do. Right, right, right. It's okay, because we'll go in and we'll go over it with the, the foundation. Okay. Mm, all right. What do we think? It gave coverage. Covered up the redness a little bit. You can still see... You can still definitely see skin coming through, like a little bit of darkness here and the freckles and everything. Okay, alright. Now let's try the black side. The dark side. Sorry, I just came back from Disneyland and out Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars Land was awesome. Okay, again, we're kind of going to stay away from up here as much as possible but I want to still see if they it covers up my hyperpigmentation up here. My nose got a little spike the I had sunscreen on and I had a um, the It Cosmetics CC cream that has SPF 50 in it and my forehead and my nose still Still got a little, still got a little red. Let me really quickly do my concealer so that we can put powder underneath the eyes too. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier concealer today. Okay, so now that my concealer is down, we can really like get into the other parts of it, like the other parts of it. You know what I mean? We can get all over the face, so. Let me set my concealer up here with the with the light side with the white side again. I got to uh, I got to fly the Millennium Falcon. I didn't fly. I'm sorry. I was not the pilot. I was the gunner, so I got to shoot things, which was fun. Um, the wait times are amazingly long. <laughs> However, they do have a single rider line, and uh, so the. The wait time for just the regular line, the standby line, was 90 minutes, and um, for the single liner, rider line, we waited 30 minutes, I think, 30, between 30 and 35. It was awesome. It was still a long wait, but it was worth it. So if you ever go, hopefully the, the crowds will be dwindling down now that it's been open for about a month. Give it another two months. Maybe it won't be as long. Okay, what do we think? I like it. It has really good coverage. I don't know that I really see a difference in the coverage on either side, though it did really cover up this hyperpigmentation very nicely. So maybe I do like the darker side better. Sorry about my cats. They're, they're talkative today. There we go. Okay, all right. I like the way it looks. I really do. I like the way it looks. It looks very... I can't seem to cover up the redness on my nose. Ha! <laughs> um, but it looks, it looks smooth. It doesn't look too powdery. I need to stop before it looks powdery. Okay, all right. What do we think? I don't think it looks too powdery. I don't think it looks too bad. I think it looks pretty nice. Um... It doesn't feel, you know how sometimes powders can feel, make your skin feel tight? I don't know if that's a thing that only I'm making up, but I feel like sometimes they can make them feel tight and like really dry. That's not happening here. It, I don't really, it doesn't really, other than right around my nose where I've been powdering quite a bit, I don't feel it on my skin, which is very nice for, for 
for a dry girl, a girl who has mostly dry skin, that's good that I don't feel it on my skin. So, yeah, okay. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to finish the eyes and do my, um, my face, my bronzer, blush, highlighter, brows, lipsticks, and I'll be right back. Lipsticks, lipstick, I'll be right back. One minute. Well, for you, like, half a second, but I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, so I went ahead and used my, uh, Benefit Brow Blade. Not Benefit. Mm-mm. Urban Decay Brow Blade. And use the um, the pencil side to fill my eyebrows. I opened up a new Tarte Slides Camera Lashes for my eye for my mascara. I opened a new Lights Camera Lashes for my mascara. Um, for my for my bronzer, I used the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. For my blush, I used Buxom Seychelles. For my highlighter, I don't know if I've shown this yet. I used the Samantha March and Ofra. I'm sorry, it's Ofra and March Beauty Word, who is Samantha March on YouTube. I use their highlighter collab, or their collab highlighter, excuse me. Um, so this is a mixture of Ofra's Pillow Talk and Star Island. And I mostly use the pink, which is um, Pillow Talk. I use that to my inner highlight for my, for my eyes and then also on my face. Um, my lips, I use the Sephora Collection, uh, Rogue, the Melting Lip Clips, Clicks, Melting Lip Clicks in the color Caramel, which is 01. So, I think that's everything I use. Yeah. So, the last thing I want to do is I want to set my face. Well, I'm going to use a, I'm, I want to use a setting spray. Um, I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to use it in the, uh, white tea version of it. I gotta say, again, it doesn't feel powdery, it doesn't feel heavy, except around my nose where I like really piled it on to cover that redness. But other than that, it, I don't think it looks powdery, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel powdery. So far, so good. I think the color match is pretty good um, when I brought it down my neck, because I do have a little bit of a tan. So, let's go ahead and set it. This just brings a little bit more, ooh, <laughs> that made me very dewy, didn't it? <laughs> Caught myself in the mirror back there, I was like, ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> little overboard on the setting spray, my bad. Uh, um, it'll, it'll, it'll settle down and it'll just help everything kind of look even less powdery, but I really don't think it looks powdery at all. So far, I'm really liking it. So I'm going to do a wear test. I'm going to wear it as long as I can. Right now, it is... So right now, it is 9.30 in the morning. I don't know if you can even see that. It's kind of hard to see. That is Zeus's temple in Greece, by the way. In Athens, Greece. So it's 9.30... Well, 9.31 in the morning. We'll call it 9.30. Um, yeah, so I'll wear it as long as I can. I make no promises because I don't like to wear makeup for a long time if I don't have to. Uh, I'm not going to lie, there's probably a nap in my future, but there are errands and whew, let's see how hot it's going to be today. Mm -hmm. So right now at 9.30 in the morning, it's 88 degrees and it is going to be a high, oh, it's only going to be 100 today. Tomorrow it's going to be 106 and 108 and then Tuesday 104 just to kind of give you an idea, but today it's only going to be 100. Um, I guess I'm happy it's not going to be 106, but, you know, when I was at Disneyland, um, it was, uh, it was 81 degrees, and I was like, oh, it's hot, and I looked down at the temperature, I was like, I'm a wimp, that's not hot, <laughs> since it's 88 degrees at 9.30 in the morning here, <sighs> it was hot, it was still hot, <laughs> but I will check in with you at the end of the night before I take the makeup off and tell you how it wore, if it got heavy, things like that, so. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so it's the end of the night. It is, well, end of the night. That's not even true. It's 7.20. Again, I don't know if you can even see that, but it's 7.20 p.m. So, check-in was it, or we ended it. So, I put this on about 9.30 in the morning, just under 10 hours. So, yeah. I took a nap. I went out in 100-degree weather. 
Uh, I cooked and basically did nothing all day and my hair looks really bad. So that's always fun. Okay. So it definitely came off around here, but I was having a runny nose and I've been wiping my nose. Came off of my, a little bit up here on my nose, but not bad. For having taken a nap right here, my cheeks is actually pretty good. Um, my forehead looks good. Nothing looks really like overly dry. It's something that I really noticed about it, which I really liked. Um, for powder foundation, my face does not look overly dry. Um, it was wiping my eyes a little bit. So it definitely came off from underneath my eyes here and you can see a little bit of that hyperpigmentation. But hmm. otherwise, I think it held up pretty good. I mean, I literally was like wiping at my face in some parts, port, ports, parts. <laughs> but again, it doesn't look cakey anywhere. Sorry, probably making busy. Doesn't look cakey anywhere. Doesn't look really dry anywhere. I'm actually really impressed by this for a powder foundation. I'm really actually impressed by this. <laughs> All right, but it is getting very. Um, 10 hours in and I'm, I'm starting to feel it on my face. I didn't start to feel it until about half an hour ago, but I'm starting to feel it on my face. You know how at a certain point you're just like, ugh, makeup has to come off now. I'm at that point. Okay, so that's the end of that. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off my face. I definitely really, first impressions, I like it. I like it a lot. So thank you as always for watching my video. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.